guys, Chris here from Bogus Prospecting. Today we've been on a hell of an adventure. We've found gold in one of the most unlikely spots I've ever found gold. And now we're just having a bit of fun looking for dry areas of old creek bed to dig in and see what's there. Uh, we've already found some nice looking gold. There's not a lot of it, but it, it's very, very pretty. So sit back and relax. Hope you enjoy the adventure. Some of the flakes we found last night and after prizing it off my bonnet, the water at the bottom of the pan is still frozen. Oh, that's all right. It is smoking. <laughs> Where is it? So in the short little last video that I did that was filmed yesterday evening, um, I was up on this hill scraping out this crevice. Now, it, this is the highest point uh, in this entire area. And down there you can see George and Craig, they're standing about 15 metres from the river. So this is a one foot section of that bedrock that we're just handing off. We're going to find out if that lead of gold that we found yesterday continues down the hill and if there's better concentrations of it. Now we're not expecting many specks but yesterday we were pulling between two and five a pan. Look at that. It got better. It got better. <laughs> so there's still gold in that hill. Second pan from a nice deep crevice. There's probably not going to be any gold in this one. Uh, a couple of micros, nothing. Really? Bugger. Back to the top. So after that last pan and not finding any real gold other than a couple of micro bits, I'm just doing some overburden from directly on top of that area um, and seeing if there's any gold in the overburden. There is. Look at that. Okay. That's interesting. you think it would have been lower, but there we go. There's gold in the overburden. Well, um, we are clearing this trench out as you can see, and what we're doing now is just sweeping the bedrock in the parts that we've ugh, dirt my mouth in the parts that we've already cleared, um, just to get all the gold out of any nooks and crannies. So, this is the cut. It was filled up with dirt to about there, um, and we're making sure that the park is spotlessly clean before we leave. We can't <laughs> leave it dirty. Can't leave it dirty. I see gold! There's gold there! This is now the concentrates of all the dirt. The part we've been waiting for. And that's the total for what we pulled out of that gap including all the test pans and stuff. And that's alright, that's pretty cool. That's actually quite amazing, I'm pretty impressed that, that was just sitting there. No one had ever dug it out. <laughs> well, after the uh, dry top experience where we found quite a bit of gold just sitting on top of the highest point in the campsite, we started looking for uh, other deposits where the river used to lie. And we found all right gold in, in some of the hard pack, large stone, dark contact areas. So we're digging out another five litre um, test bucket and just seeing what happens. <laughs> uh, and in the meantime, I get to be supervisor in the shape. Oh, what are you doing in my shapes? got to watch him. He's been sneaky, he is. Just to give you a bit of an idea of what we're actually doing with, um, we're working dry deposits of where the river was. So this is leftover river bed, um, and the river has since eroded down deeper and in different directions. So I've washed these rocks. Um, and you can see these are all river stones, but they're coming out of uh, a dry area. So, them. and then we're just left with the pines. Uh, we're going to find out how much gold is in one pan's worth to see what we're actually dealing with. 
Well, guys, what an interesting day. We actually started finding gold in dry areas, and we just decided to continue on with that. Um, you would have seen me not doing a whole lot because my heart, I have a heart condition, and that's really slowed me down. <laughs> um, today, it's just hit me hard. So George has been doing most of the digging, um, and we basically prospected dry areas that looked like old creek beds. We're just cleaning up the gold now, and then we're going to tip it on the scales and just see how much we got. All right, guys, here we go. This is the way up. Like I said, it's not going to be much. I'm betting a point two, probably. Ah, slightly better than point two. Point two four. <laughs> oh, point two one. Okay, so point two five, around a quarter gram. That's not so bad. I can live with that. Well. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, and check out our Facebook, Vogus Prospecting, spelt V-O-G-U-S. <laughs> See you guys.